in today's video, I'm going to have a hotel review on Kimpton Market, Sydney. If you're interested in today's video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now, let's get started. We want to redeem our welcome gift instead of a snack. They give us this um, menu, so we can choose a dish from this menu. Let's look at the evacuation diagram. This is our room. Our room has been upgraded from king size essential room to king size premium room. On the left side is the uh, bathroom. I love this design. So they got a very big uh, mirror and two light bulbs on the mirror. Makeup mirror on this bench. Next to it is tissue box to uh, Mr. Smith's soba and two glass. Then this is Mr. Smith's body lotion. Two hand towels. In this store, there's a shower care sanitary bag going cake. It's a real plan, it's not a fake one. We got an extra towel, a hair dryer in a bag, and a scale. The, the difference between the king size essential room and the king size premium room is king size premium room will have this uh, big and deep bathtub. And over the top, there's another tower, separate shower room, big bottles of body wash, conditioner, and shampoo. One thing I find is very inconvenient is the switch is here, but the shower head is here. If I have a short alarm, which is really inconvenient. Outside this shower room, we got this toilet here. Uh, beside the toilet, there's a small rubbish bin, two rolls of toilet paper, and a small table. A telephone. I really love this small table. And on the right side, we got those uh, big cabinet. So the first cabinet, we got the upper space empty, which is really good for storage. Then down here, we got a electronic tot here, and some clothes hangers, and two like well designed Kimpton bathrobe. And in this basket, we got a small bag. It says it's iron. How cute is that? A shoe brush. These slippers are 100% biodegradable slippers. So in this part, we got this iron ball. But if you come to this side, there's a mirror. This one we've got a uh, small safe. Then down here is the mini bar. So in the mini bar, we've got a um, milk, two beers, and on it, different kinds of drinks. Those two are from Luke's Kitchen, so it's their own brand. Snacks and some wines, and there's a ice bucket. Down here, we've got some like coffee capsules, some tea bags, and sugars, drinking chocolate, and two coffee mugs. Then a Nespresso machine over there. Oh, this one we've got one candle inside. Got a very long desk and um, a flat screen TV. This one is a wireless charging pad and with two extra USB socket here. I really want to talk about this uh, Kimto Margot tablet. We can have a look at what's on at Margot's in room dining. Uh, sense of discovery, uh, the essentials stay well, and there are a lot of uh, newspapers. Let's have a quick look at it. So, financial review the uh, Sydney Morning Hurrah, the age. Found this part is extremely 
are informative, they automate convert. The price list we can request if uh, they are run out in the minibar. For God, we've got a uh, contact lens solution, pyro tape, lit makeup mirror, uh, curling flat iron, all the way to, and we can take, take Margot Hall. It's 150 degree that is well designed. They are one of the most important information pets because Margot is pet friendly hotel. On this side, we got uh, this uh, very comfy couch next to the bed. Fun, this is the only hotel who provides the game for us. This bed, I found this uh, little information card. It says like if you don't call um, housekeeping and stay here for uh, two nights, then you will get an extra 500 IHG rewards points. It's a complimentary water, mineral water. So this is the complimentary morning kickstart. This is Margot Kimpton, Margot Sydney. This is about three minutes walking. So, uh, we can walk to Westfield just on that side. And David Jones Meyer up there. Then on the other side, we can walk to Walk Square, Chinatown, Thai Town, and a Korean Town just from here. This is a Kimpton Mark Sydney, this side, who we'll say that's Town Hall Station, that's the time. The event cinema is just right over there, so it's about like one minute walking. So there are two entrances. So this one looks like a side door. We can walk through this door, this entrance, or if you want to have a larger entrance, we can go from here. Then turn left. That's the hotel. So the gym is on B1 and the swimming pool is on level 7. to summarize the highlights, lowlights and membership benefits for staying with the Kimpton Margot Sydney. Before I do so, just a heads up, in the following weeks I'm going to have hotel reviews on Hilton Nunia, double trade by Hilton Nunia, Intercontinental Sydney and another mysterious Intercontinental. Please feel free to guess which Intercontinental we are going to stay with and leave your comment below. For the highlight, uh, I want to talk about its location. I think this hotel has the best location, even though it doesn't have the Harbour Bridge view, the Sydney Opera House view, but it's uh, so close to basically all of those attractions in Sydney City. And the second thing I want to mention is the check-in experience. The whole check-in progress was very smooth. The uh, reception staff are uh, very professional. They basically mentioned everything I cared about when I checked in. That was a nice experience. <laughs>
for the low light, the first thing I want to mention is the, the Wilmot bar service, which is a little bit uh, unexpected. When I went to redeem my welcome gift, they stopped acting like she doesn't know this process and it seems like this redeemation of the welcome gifts was unusual within this hotel, uh, which makes me feel uncomfortable and the whole waiting time is extremely long it took about 20 minutes for my one to be delivered to my table uh, this experience was not good at all the second thing i want to mention is there's no on-site parking within this hotel so it's not ideal for people who want to drive to this hotel but fortunately there are a lot of wheels and parkings around this area just need to be prepared I've stayed with um, another Kimpton Hotel at San Francisco and it was a disaster. It was definitely a very bad experience. It turns out Kimpton Marco Sydney is really good. So yeah, that's pretty much about this hotel and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.